Hey everyone, FCJ here, and welcome to the, another episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn, where I will be taking in control for Waterland. Yes, it's it, it's yes. This was I took very long to just try to like make this in pro and process, as I had been held back for at least three days, three days in general. Um. It's, uh, it was like a bit horrifying in a way that, um, that I, that I couldn't really contain myself to just try to not to, um, undergo under everything. Uh, let me pause, well, well just before I begin, let me pause something, because I got something, I got something in mind. I'll edit this out, so. Um, editing out right about now. And we're back. Okay. Yeah. So. I have, uh, I have a few things to say before when, when, when like, doing this and stuff. So, I have been absent for, like, exactly three days. Literally, literally skipping like the day of my recording time uh, session for this and stuff, and which kind of bothered me. But now that I'm here, I can continue on with this and stuff. And uh, now that we're here, we can just we can do this now. Uh, let me just maneuver my life over closer and stuff. I don't know that you can hear me closer, clearly now. Okay. Uh, we just awakened the sun. You know, if I were to do that, I would actually do getting a lot of, of uh, beads from, from just eliminating all, all of those guys. Um, so, a little bit of a story time of what happened to me during the past three days, those past three days, as, uh, for, as, uh, as of when I actually, like, Forgot to start recording for an episode of this of this and stuff. From what I've actually witnessed, um, I have been I got I had gotten my things taken away from me for the whole for the whole like for almost like almost a week. And I'm like, what? I can't wait. I can't withstand waiting a whole week to, to get my things back. Sun clock. This sunny clock gives off a one glow. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, um, what was I saying? Um, uh, oh yeah, I was like, I had my, I had my stuff like taken away for a one, like a one simple like, kind of like chore that I had to do and stuff, but, um, I had, I had my things taken away just so that I would be able to do anything for, like, almost, for, like, a, like a whole, st uh, like, three weeks straight and stuff, but there was a twist that if I were to do, like, eight things, within a list, then I could get my things back. On Saturday, and on, on, this happened, this had started around Saturday, of course. Moon clock, this moon clock gives off a gentle light and goes dark after, goes dark once, once a month. Oh. Anyway, um, I had, like, well, my parents had to, uh, had, well, 
during Friday, it's the night where where I where this it was where I was in last but I had lost my stuff. Anyway. But um starting on starting on the day that it, when it went when it began, Saturday, this this is, Saturday is when it had when it had began. Um Saturday, like first off, Saturday has has started, and um, I had to do a little like some things to do around the house and stuff. Literally, at, like inside and outside, and possible, and then possibly I chose to do outside the out. The out the, I, 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 cho I chose outside um, the outside um, parts of. Of, of how I'm becoming. My parents gave me a list of nine, of nine things to do and stuff. One of them was optional. <laughs> One of them was optional. Eight of them was mandatory. And, um, I did exactly what it showed in the, uh, in the, uh, on the list and stuff. With the following that I had to, like, break, uh, break down, like, pallets of wood. For the um, uh, what was it? Like, but I had to like break down like wood pallets and stuff, and I also had to like break down a, an old doghouse that I had that I had outside and stuff that that I used to have dogs for. Um, and uh, I had to like clean some fans. What was the other stuff that I had to do? I don't remember. Well, I don't remember, but during the inside of the ha of the house, I had to like do a little like maneuvering of cleaning my my uh my recording space and stuff. And um I well, I had to like do a little cleaning of my recording space and also my room. I had to deep clean but for the for, but for my room, well, my actual bedroom and stuff. Um I had to like do a little a whole like deep cleaning and stuff by literally maneuvering my bed to to the side and stuff, but by that there was like a bit of a, hor a horrible like um, situation for uh, for my bed and stuff. This was this was um, Monday, by the way. This this happened Monday or yeah, this ha this happened yesterday Monday um, when uh, I had to like be able to maneuver my bed my bed and stuff I, it was just it was just like ho like a, like ho a whole like horrible like some like such a horrible situation just happened that my freaking bed frame just broke <laughs> well parts of my bed bed frame just broke and stuff but it was a mandatory it was like a mandatory fix that i had to just literally just fix whatever was just like broken off and stuff and, um, well, I couldn't be able to do that as the whole, the whole freaking bed, the whole freaking bed frame is so heavy, it was like so heavy for me, that, um, that I couldn't be able to like, to like, um, like, I wasn't able to like, be able to lift my whole, like, mattress and stuff, like, the mattress is like, was like heavy for me. But it wasn't heavy for my parents though, which is kind of like, which is kind of awkward, for, which is kind of awkward for me, at the most. But, uh... Oop. I killed him. I'm kidding, he's not, he's not dead. Um, for the utmost, my mom had to been just like, solo, solo like, picking it, picking it up and to, um... Get it up to where I could actually be able to clean under the bed and stuff. While well, that be, aka vacuuming and stuff. Um, let me just read this. Jellyfish lights. This light is one switch for white and one for electric shocks. Guess one's which. Guess which is which. I could probably tell. <laughs> okay, back to my story. Um, my mom has been like, ha my mom had done like most of the heavy work by literally pulling out my, uh, 
my mattress from the bedroom and just to check just to inspect the uh, the damage that ha that I have done and stuff even though it was a mandatory fix I had an idea where if, if, uh, if it's like slanted and stuff I could just literally put bricks right right by that right right by the place where it's broken and like like slanted and stuff but it was not really slanted at all there was like these like little poles at, at the bottom of the of the uh, of the bed frame that I could just um, that, I, that I could just like try to tilt back and stuff but whenever the mattress is off, it's more easy to just fix it like that, so... But, um... Over more, um... Hold on. <clears throat> um... Yeah, for... Whenever my mom, like, removed the mattress... Uh... It, well, for the whole for the whole situation of under my bed, it's just filthy and stuff. But I had to like put a I had to use the vacuum to clean under my my um, my my bed and stuff. Plus, um, my mom had to like do a little tweaking. I had to like a little like thing where I, she could just fix my bed entirely and stuff. I can hardly ever try to tell my story, like multitask, like do like a commentary multitask of my sto of a story that I need that I'm trying to tell. Um, from what I've witnessed, from what I saw though, this is my, this is from my, this is from literally my, from my sight of what I saw and stuff. From what I saw, my, well, my dad like came in and stuff and like telling him, telling him that. He, well, I, well, first of all, I took a picture of how what, of what the damage was and stuff to my to, to my family to my uh, parents uh, to my parents' uh, like messenger um, like messenger group chat and and stuff to, to talk to them directly at at, at like home and stuff. And, uh... How do I get that? Oh. There we go. Um... I really would hope I didn't miss anything. Anyway, um... Once my once my like dad came home and stuff and and I was like okay I think you can do, probably do this now for me and stuff because I my back was hurting and I couldn't be able to like do the do the rest of the heavy lifting the, of lifting my mattress up and stuff and uh, entirely for the um, the whole like thing my, my mom already had done everything and stuff for me and uh, I had to like do the cleaning and stuff. And which made me finish, uh, made a passable uh, thing from the list and stuff. And, uh, and that's basically it for, for that day and stuff. Unt un until my dad had to make a, make a point, like a literal, like a finger point towards like some things that I had, that I had not touched and stuff. Like, for example... I had to like for the pallets and stuff. I had broken them down and stuff, and to uh, and, and to where I had to like put them to the side and stuff so that I could be able to put them in the trash later on. But my dad had pointed out that I had to break them in half to um, 
to just so that I'd be able to like put them in the trash because they're too tall and stuff and stuff. And I haven't really finished cleaning all fans as there was four fans in the house and stuff. And I'm like, what? So here comes today. I actually did all everything and stuff. My even even now my dad hadn't even given me more things to just try to do and stuff. Which kind of triggered me, because I'm like... But, I had done them very quickly and stuff, really. For the whole entire being. And, uh... Really, that's just... Re it's just very complicated for me to just say that I have to, like, be able to actually be... Uh, I, I have to actually clean the entire freaking backyard from wood. And I'm like, jeez... Um, and uh, that's basically my story of how it how it actually went and stuff, which is kind of like horrendous for me. And uh, I got my things back right in the process and stuff, which is really happy, which I'm really happy for and stuff. And whenever I had like checked through my stuff, I have nothing, literally. Um. But uh, now that my story is done, I could read this now. Aquarium. I think all of the fish are hiding right now. Scary, scaredy fish. that if I were to not forget to, uh, to, like, accept my, uh, alarms for the, for just trying to do my, my, my actual job of being, I uh, keep in the freaking house clean, it would, like, th this is, like, this one thing that got me to lose my stuff is by, is by having to, to not do the dishes at a certain time, and I'm like, jeez. All I did all eight things from one simple thing that I have not done, in which in which I have like I was under like this and a desperate desire to just get them done immediately, in which I have succeeded for. Um, yeah, and now I'm here. Recording two episodes for you. <laughs> if you ever saw the, the previous uh, video that I posted of the announcement. Secrets Island. I'll be doing another pause right here. As I'm going to do something well quick. BRB. And we're back again. Let's go to Secret Island. You know, I just have a thought and feeling that playing this game would just be like a whole reality that I would have to try to like figure it out. That if I were to be stuck in certain certain place and stuff and have my whole freaking life ruined by some certain um in like antagonists then then literally my whole life would just be put down in, in the in the dumps just just be just trying to feel happy and stuff but I don't feel I don't feel like that as uh, I feel like I'm in the right spot of where I want to be and uh, I just feel like I just like feel right at home for the job of uh, of just doing this with of just doing this for y'all as I like well for for like those like for like how I've explained my story I felt a little a little depressed treasure rug feel like you're inherited you 
feel like you inherited a fortune as you lie on a dazzling on this dazzling rug. Um. I have been putting my life in the line uh, for trying to, trying to trying to feel happy uh, with uh, with trying to be like a completionist on doing on doing that list of of chores that I had to do and stuff, in which I actually did feel like a completionist only for only for my father to like do a lot of point of, of pointing of, of of saying um you forgot to do this and you forgot to do this and do that and you forgot to do this you forgot to do that and I'm like so I'm, and I'm like having a, to t like talk to him like can you not point that out please you're only gonna push me out even more even more You're only gonna stress me out even more if you actually like the pointing, the pointing out stuff that I don't want to do. And uh, well, he didn't do that actually. He was, he was just trying to make me. He was just trying to make me feel like I have I have to do something right. In which that actually succeeded, and I had to learn my my lesson. Totem pole. This totem pole sport. Towards a few faces you may recognize. Uh, Squirrels, that's funny. <laughs> Very, uh... I don't think, like, the buff is like that. The, 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 ooh, the texture for the, like, for the flying squirrels would be a little, a little bit less convenient that they are just flying squirrels. Like a whole, like, makeshift of this thing. Wow, wow, uh, so, yeah, this is what happens if you don't actually collect anything. <laughs> if you don't collect any of those, like, um, patch, patch things and stuff for this. Because it will, all you do, all you see is just this. You gotta be super, you gotta be very, like, very lenient on trying to collect an average amount of beads to get, like, a, to get the gold medal and stuff. But if you're really like what like very like lucky enough to just get it and stuff, then you're, you're good to go. But I'm lucky enough to get enough beads to just get a gold get a gold medal like um, part of it and stuff. But uh, overall, yeah, this is fine. It's, uh, even though I I got it, it's fine. Got it all out of the way. Heart patch. Here we go. What do I do with this? Fire! 
I'm guessing it's the it's this uh, this little boy here. Yeah. Deep dive deep. Ooh wee! I don't see this. Juice, juice of me sauce. I'm, just I'm kidding. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Just, just zooming through here and stuff. Just, just like a speedrunner. Oh jeez. Lava thing down here. Damn. Damn. Okay. It's fine. Don't let me pass through. Okay. Don't mind me just rubbing my face against the wall. I need to find a way to get up there. Oh wait, I found a way. See ya, Betty. Fighting for literally nothing. You're literally fighting for nothing, boy. <laughs> Dingler lights. This thoughtful night light goes out when you fall asleep. Does it does it sound a bit dim whenever I'm in the water? I don't think so. From my perspective, I don't know. Ugh. Jeez, I have to really, really go fast for me. Mast. Putting this in your room may may lead to some random bouts of swa swashbuckling. I don't get it. Is that supposed to be a pirate term? Music disc, and we can just 
speed run this whole entire level, you know. <coughs> Damn, I had to hold. I can't hold that. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> nothing else important that I can do nothing about it. Anyway. What in the world is that? Is that a vase? That's a cool looking vase, bro. I wish I could have that vase. Awesome. Octopus snook. That's not a vase. I'm guessing that's not a vase. Why is it called an octopus nook? What? An octopus nook? Oh god! I'm not scared. Um, this leads to the bo This octopus nook leads to the boss, of course, as from what I've no known from my memory. Yeah, it just slips through like nothing. Captain Capamari. Capamari, okay. This is the boss. Capamari is the boss. Basically the whole uh, basically a squid boss. Um Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's fight him off. Try to I'm gonna try to see if I can be able to like complete this uh boss without taking damage. Let's see. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, for his defense make it for his, for his defense stuff uh defensive um ability is his tentacles. Basically he will Start not having his tentacles to lunge at you. get you when you're trying to like get his hat out of the way but once you succeed in doing that he will get angry then these nooks will come out of nowhere to where um, he is and stuff. get you and stuff but over more it's more complicated than that because you're 
out of here. No damage taken, I believe. I believe I took no damage in that. I believe I did. I believe I did not take damage during that. That's awesome. Congratulations to me. We, I got a uh, damage list and we could beat Kapamari. Then we got the treasure map patch. Nice. Let's head straight to there. We did it. We got the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patch land together. Back in Dreamland, it was total chaos over at Castle DDD. What is going on here? It appeared that Yin Yarn's Waddle Dee imposters had captured all of the real Waddle Dees. You can't be mean to my Waddle Dees. Only I can be mean to my Waddle Dees. That was when Yin Yarn's troops decided to show King DDD who was boss. Hey, that tickles. Okay, that hurts. Yeah, uncle. And in no time, they had King DDD wrapped up like a birthday present. <laughs> Only one more step and Dreamland will be mine. What an honor to have a king serving me. Yin Yarn's sock began to glow and sucked King DDD right inside. <laughs> Dreamland will be mine. Not sure what I'll do with it, but I'll figure something out. Could no one stop Yin Yarn from tearing apart the very fabric of Dreamland? That's for y'all to decide in the next episode, in which I'm going to create after. But we're not done yet here. As Snowland is next, right after this. After my adventure of doing the final two, the final two, uh... By the final two last levels of this, of this world. This land. Boom Bolt Yard. This, from what I would know from this level, it's a side scroller. I have to get all the treasures in one sitting in this side scroller. This is gonna be an annoying one. I can already picture. I can already picture it. Oh man! Now I want to do like a little edit. Oh dude! I I'm already picturing a freaking in my head that a little edit for this. <laughs> I just got bomb sighted. Treasure chest. This is actually a piggy bank. Don't let your pair of friends see it. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think so, buddy. You're coming with me. <laughs> Hmm. 
from, from my full, full attention on this, who is summoning these bombs? I'm guessing these guys. there now. Jeez, why a giant one? I hear that retired pirates make these all day long. <laughs> Just <can't do> <laughs> ah, that's messed up, man. Okay. Ugh. What? That didn't hit me. Oh, but the freaking blast radius. Come on. Wow, I can't. This is this is actually the first time I failed to get a, a, a freaking gold medal. And I and a still. Wow. Okay, game. Is this is this what you want? Is this how you're gonna freaking play this game with me? I'm gonna be fixing this off screen, dude. That's just bummerish. Alright, last uh, level over here, and we are going to be done with this episode. Fossil Reef. Here we go. Last episode. Last episode. Last episode. Last level. Jesus. Yeah.
Wow, it didn't let me freaking turn. This is just a, it's just a, it's just not brave. Look, look, it's doing it again, come on! What? This chair looks comfy, but it feels a bit strange. Go ahead, try it. <laughs> okay. Fossil. This sounds this outstanding fossil was discovered in an ancient sea. Beautiful. Letter of it. Huh. I saw the last item back there. Oh, no! I saw the last item behind right by that wall whenever I like went through there it is and we got it it was the waterland one the waterland um this Make sure that the episode ends um, perfectly sound. That's everything for uh, Waterland, except for Boom Boat, for, except for the process of Boom Boat Yard. Jesus, um, <laughs> that's it for this. Uh, that's that's it for this episode. Stop it! Oh my God, I'm gonna I'm gonna freaking I'm gonna freaking wreck your face. Okay, <laughs> uh, that's it for that's it for Waterland. Next episode, I will be also. What, next episode, I will also be recording for Waterlands and Waterland, Snowland um, today. Also, right after this, ep right after I, uh, af right after this video is posted. So, in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace. Heading right into Snowland. <laughs>